and welcome to the Stephen Gallagher Foundation Finals Day 2015, where once again the host venue is a magnificent Kingsfield, and a great turnout today to celebrate the end of a long summer season with flag events, stroke play events for boys and girls, ages from under 16 to under 8. We've got 150 kids here today, this is our uh, fourth time of hosting it here at Kingsfield, which is an unbelievable uh, place to come for the kids, you know, they've got a fantastic nine holes, the family, the Artley family look after us so well. Um, Jane's running a world championship, match play championship after it here as well, so um, you know, there's, the kids are, they've, they've had putting, they've had lessons, they're now playing a match play and there's also stroke play and flag, play, uh, flag events going on today. We've got a lot of support. Obviously, it doesn't. It can't run without the, the support from uh, companies and certain people. You know, Scottish Hydro have been uh, a big backer of mine for since its inception. So we, we 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 can't thank them enough for their continued support. Really, all the help and support really paying off as the foundation continues to grow in size. We've been all over. Really, we've had two thousand five hundred kids playing in events this year from from Dunbar down to Melrose, up here at Kingsfield, Bathgate. Um, we've been all over, really. We want to get kids playing in events, different golf courses, different times of the year, some in winter, some in summer. So uh, you brave them to the elements and, you know, just give them something competitive when there's kids here at six, uh, up to 16 years old. And as well as helping grow the game at the grassroots level, the foundation is also supporting a couple of very successful juniors. We support Joanne Free, who uh, plays for Scotland, and we support Kieran Cantley, who's been playing for Scotland as well at boys level and girls level. So, you know, it's just uh, it's something we want to get into in the future. After it, from grassroots level, it's nice to sort of uh, have the support all the way up until they're uh, out their teens. And Stephen, who tries to get to as many events as possible, is seeing that it's not just the foundation that's growing, but some of the golfers are growing as well. You see kids who were, who were little tots are now young men and uh, they hit the ball a, a decent distance now. So it's good to see them develop. It's obviously hard for them when they're a bit young, when they've not got the power. But I notice a couple of young kids there who, who have sort of taken a sprout and they've got a big bit of distance and they know all of a sudden their handicap comes tumbling down. So it's, uh, it's, it's stepping stones. We want to make it fun for them. That's the ultimate uh, goal for me is I want them to be playing with a smile on their face. There was plenty of smiles all round with the competitors, but there was also a lot of very serious and determined golfers ready to take on the challenge of the nine holes at Kingsfield. And after the all-important warm-up, it would be down to the first tee. And, uh, well, there's not too many of us get to tee off with a Ryder Cup player just a few feet away watching us, but there was very little nerves on show and plenty of good golf. So let's catch some of the action. Out to the 8th in the under-14 boys category. And this is Liam Currid from the bunker. Very nearly holing out. Beautiful shot. That's the kind of form that helped Liam finish 5th in this year's Order of Merit. Back on to the par 3 6th. And there was a bit of a nearest-to-pin competition going on in amongst this group. Malachi Hayward, Cameron Johnson. But first up for this three ball was Amar Salim. Amar. Lovely solid shot right into the heart of the green. And, uh, well, an impressive start. So what could his playing partners do? Well, Cameron Johnson has shown some really good form all year. And he wasn't going to be intimidated by that. Hitting in a nice soft draw as the ball releases and rolls up. And inside Amar, and not too far away at all. Well... Two on the green. Let's see what Malachi Hayward could do. Now Malachi coming down and just landing between the two balls. But absolutely pin high. Beautiful stuff. A few of the professionals and the competitors, relatives, spectators down watching. And on the green, it was only Malachi who would convert the birdie putt for a lovely two. And that's the kind of form that saw him finish third in this year's under-14s Order of Merit. Lovely stuff. Down on to the ninth. And uh, Cameron Adam rolling up a nice putt. 
Cameron would finish this year fourth in the order of merit, but on the day for the stroke play competition, well, he got himself into a playoff, tying at the top of the day's leaderboard alongside Amar Salim. Well, we've already seen one nice tee shot from Amar at the sixth. This was him on the ninth. And a beautiful shot. Amar would finish the season second in the order of merit, but just lose out in the playoff, which we managed to catch the very end of, uh, to Jack Gallagher. Jack finishing nicely. Amar not winning on the day, but like I say, second in the order of merit. And uh, Jack Gallagher, well... Looking a little bit embarrassed as he went up to collect his prize. I think he knows the man handing out the prizes quite well. And yes, he was in a hurry to get off the stage. But this was the man who topped the order of merit for the under-14 boys this year, Cameron Johnston. Well played, Cameron. Well, what about the girls? The under-16 category. A very familiar face. Last year's winner in the order of merit, Megan Linton. Well, she finished third... Uh, on the day in the stroke play event, finishing off nicely here on the 8th, and she was out alongside Samantha McGregor, another very familiar face at the foundation events, the left-hander, just missing her putt here on the 8th as well, and a little bit frustrated, she must have known she was in contention, Samantha finished second on the day in the stroke play event, as we move down to the 9th, just missing the green was Lauren Reed, But uh, so often to score well, it's all about how you recover. And look at that. Beautiful shot from the bunker. Lauren Reed winning the stroke play event here at the finals day. There was some other nice golf. Here we have young Abby Steadman. Fighting to move up the order of merit just outside the top five this year. A nice pitch on for her here at the ninth. And over in the bunker, well, fifth in this year's order of merit for the under-16 girls, Karis Irvin. Nice flop out the bunker, and improving every year. Back to the eighth, nice long putt here from Natalie Fowler. And Natalie, she finished fourth in this year's order of merit, but she also picked up a special prize, which we'll be catching up with later on in the video. Nice putt from Natalie. Third in this year's order of merit, Samantha McGregor. Well, we saw her missing a putt on the eighth, but finishing very nicely on the day in the ninth. Good form and a smile as always. This lot, they're a friendly bunch, always smiling. Last year's winner of the order of merit, Megan Linton, finishing off her round here on the ninth. And well, she was second in the day's competition. She was also second in this year's order of merit. And the winner of the day's competition, Lauren Reed, also finished top of the Order of Merit rankings for the under-16 girls. Smiles, handshakes and hugs all round. As always, the very best of sporting behaviour. Well, we can look at some of the younger boys now. The under-10s category, over on the 8th. And, uh, well, for the day's stroke play tournament, this is William Alexander sinking a lovely putt. Uh, oh, look at that, little fist pump and everything. Well, he finished third on the day's tournament. Very nicely done. Out behind him, further down the fairway, Josh Beveridge. Nice approach, just rolling off the edge of the green. But he played well enough to finish second on the day. But uh, the winner of the stroke play event was Andrew Hendry. And, well, pretty bright green shoes. And... Uh, very nice putt there on the 8th to finish off. Well done on winning the day's tournament. What about the Order of Merit? Well, just sneaking into a tie for 5th in this year's Order of Merit. Brodie Cunningham. No wonder with a short game like that. Very nicely done on the final hole. Well, we saw William Alexander holding a nice putt on the 8th and he did it again on the 9th. He finished also tied 5th for this year's Order of Merit alongside Owen Hayworth. A three-way tie for 5th spot. In this year's rankings. James Woods, well, he was out of these two. And he too sank a fantastic putt on the last. Cementing his place fourth in this year's order of merit. Well played, James. Great stuff. Back to the eighth. And here we have Fergus Brown. 
And Fergus putting up from off the green. And look at this. He very nearly hold that shot. Well played, Fergus. And that's the kind of form that saw him finish third in this year's under-10 boys order of merit. Now, back down to the ninth, the final hole of the final summer season tournament. And Josh Beveridge. Now, he finished second in the day's tournament. Uh, a little chip on from the back of the green. And it was very tight at the top of this year's order of merit for the under-10 boys. Josh holing out nicely there. And I'm not sure how aware he was, but that was a very, very important putt. Um, he finished second in the day's tournament with Andrew Hendry winning, as we said. But there was only one putt of a difference, which meant that Josh Beveridge took the order of merit title for the year with Andrew in second place. Really, really tight at the top and well played by both boys. And with that, it was time to move down to the presentation where we started with three very special prizes, which Stephen tells us about. We had two girls and a boy had a hole in one uh, this year playing in our events, which is a which is a special thing, really. Uh, I think I, I think I'm right in saying I could be wrong, but I think I'm right in saying that Seve Ballesteros, the great Seve, uh, never had a hole in one. So, you know, hole in ones are hard to come by. I know a lot of people who who still haven't had them, and uh, you know we've had young kids having them here. So I thought it was nice to commemorate that, and I gave them a, a limited edition Scotty Cameron marker from uh, the Masters. So. A hole-in-one is indeed an incredible achievement, so up collecting the prizes. Left to right, we have Natalie Fowler, Catherine Milne and Malachi Hayward. And with that, it was time to find out who all the winners were for this year's Order of Merits. Congratulations to all the golfers who picked up prizes on the day and throughout the season and we look forward to seeing you on a golf course sometime soon.